Yo yo, welcome to another video by Six Sense, yours truly. Um, all right, so down to business. What this video is for, or for any Axiom users out there by M Audio, and there's a little issue. It's a common issue because I've seen it all over the net um, of the Axiom keys not responding. Okay, so the solution is not to send it back to the factory not to open it up and void your warranty you know what I mean um, hopefully my trick works for you here's the trick you ready? no I'm still fucking on alright um, the same way you factory reset your axiom by pressing the plus and minus keys and then powering it off and then on that's how you do it, except the key that's not working, you got to hold that one down too. Okay? So, example, you take the plus and minus key. See, mine, uh, I think it was the uh, D sharp. Okay? So, my D sharp wasn't working. What I did was I held down the D sharp in the lowest octave because it was closest to the plus and minus sign, and I don't have octopus arms and, you know flailing like Goro, you know what I mean? Like with four arms I can do four things at once, you know what I mean? So I did the uh the first octave, my D sharp in the first octave. I you know kind of maneuvered my fingers, pressed the plus and minus key, alright? At the same time I held all three down. The key that wasn't responding, the plus and minus, and then I powered it off back on I pressed the key and it worked. Okay? So congratulations, you have a new solution. Hopefully it works for you. I really, really, really hope it does work for you. If it doesn't, yeah, contact M Audio, see if they got other suggestions. But I did it twice. Alright? So I highly suggest doing that first before you wind up sending it back to M Audio and getting a replacement. I've seen somebody on the net, you know, they got three replacement keyboards you know what I mean uh, I'm not gonna go through that I'm not gonna be without my axiom you know what I mean so anyway I'm gonna cut this short you got your solution go try it right peace